A report today from an environmental group says the world's oceans are drowning in trash. Could the solution be skateboards? Here's Don Daler. It's a fish. Boreo skateboards look like fish because they're made from old fishing nets. They started out as garbage, fishing nets discarded in the waters off Chile. 640,000 tons of these nets clog the world's oceans, and that's only a tenth of the debris. According to the Ocean Conservancy report, in just one day, worldwide volunteers picked up more than 12 million pounds of rubbish from beaches and waterways. The top three culprits were cigarette butts, food wrappers, and plastic bottles. We were just struck with this issue of plastic in the ocean, and we just kind of made a mission to do something about it. That's the thing I think that a lot of people are going to have a hard time making the leap from let's collect trash to let's make skateboards. Yeah. Boreo founders Ben Knepers and David Stover started in Chile, where fishing is a major industry. They figured out how to convert the fish nets into plastic pellets, which could be used in a mold. And Boreo Skateboards was born. What has been the biggest challenge for you guys? Every day has been a battle, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we've had to create an entirely new s supply chain from scratch. The project has been funded by Northeastern University's IDEA program, the Chilean government, and donations through Kickstarter. That's good. They're starting small with an initial production run of 2,000 boards that will sell for $145 each. Can a skateboard save the world? We're starting with skateboards, yes. Um, we chose it because it's a positive product that people can connect with, especially this next coming generation. We really want them to be aware of this problem and be better educated, but also look at it in a different way, in a positive perspective to think, what else can we do with our waste? And judging from the public's reaction, the plan is rolling right along. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.